what's going on? Day three. A little bit more comfortable today. I have a. I come from like a production background, so I'm always looking at the back. I'm like, what's it, what's it look like right there? Am I sitting up straight? But anyway. So, a little bit more comfortable today. Um, fear versus faith. Is there a versus? I, I did a uh, seminar conference get together this weekend with uh, Kyle Cease and he's a transformational comic and just saying that seems a little cheesy to me but yeah, I went and he's very he's, he's amazing so I'd recommend you look at uh, look him up and, and, and do some research everything he talks about I, I certainly uh, I'm, I, I very much believe in and uh, have been pretty much practicing for the past couple of years in my own uh, way. So fear and faith, I, I, I suffer from a perception problem personally. So um, I know a lot of other people similar to myself feel the same way. And I think of fear and faith the same way I think of, um, I'm at a loss for words, which is not the first time, but rare. It's like the same side of the same coin. It's this, uh, the feelings that come up when I'm in fear. are maybe the other side of the feelings that I have when I'm in faith. Maybe that's obvious. Maybe not. I was like in meditation this morning thinking like, Oh my God, it's the same coin. I mean, we're all on the coin. The coin is one whole thing. This whole thing is the coin. And if I'm looking at life and I'm in the flow of things, I'm in faith. And if I'm resisting that, I'm in fear. I mean, that's, I guess that's obvious. But so they exist in the same second. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I feel high. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. But I know when I was meditating, I was thinking about this stuff this morning. <clears throat> I felt amazing. And then halfway into the meditation, I thought about doing this and I thought about being judged and I thought about all these other things and I got like a headache in my meditation and, and I knew it was my resistance to just, just kind of being in the flow. And, uh, yeah, it's weird being vulnerable, which I paint a lot about and I, I do a lot of stuff about that in my, in my painting. That's the edge. So, oh, so back to, <laughs> so Kyle talks about being on the edge. That's annoying because my, whatever, my uh, messenger's on. So being on the edge, if we're afraid, I, I, I never feel more alive than I'm, when I'm about to be afraid. I'm afraid of something and I'm on the edge of that. But I crave that. Like, whenever I go snowboarding, I don't, you don't go on like the stupid little simple runs that you're not going to be excited about. You go on some stuff that you're a little bit challenged, you know what I mean? Like, you're afraid. Like, I could die or I could have an amazing time. And that's where I want to be. Like, that, and that's where, like, I want to risk. If I don't risk, I have a painting, I'll, I'll bring it up later. Um, and another thing that we'll talk about, or I'll talk about. If I don't risk, I don't, I'm not living. Like, staying safe is what I've done my whole life. And fear, every time I've actually grown or exposed myself to something I'm afraid of is when I, when I feel more alive, you know? I can't wrap my head around what I don't understand. And I'm afraid of that. I can't, you know, I can't, when I can't fathom what it's like to be either something that I want to be, like if I want to be a millionaire or I, I can't fathom that. So I'm excited, but I'm afraid a little bit. There's responsibility that comes with that. You know, um, I can't, 
I can't fathom what it would be like to be in prison for five years. I've been to jail and that has sucked. And I was afraid of that. And I'm still afraid of that. Sometimes I can't fathom what it's like to be happy all the time. And I've been happy a lot more than I've been sad. And that's something that I knew it was like. I knew what it was like to be sad and mopey and listening to the Smiths 24-7. And I love the Smiths, don't get me wrong. And I I listen to them still sometimes, but I'm not, they're not on repeat. I don't, I'm not like identifying with the sadness to tell myself the sad story of my sad life and my sad body and my sad thoughts. We are the stories we tell ourselves. And he talks about that, Kyle does. And I've talked about that for a long time. And that's not a new concept. Maybe when I thought about it for myself the first time, when it, when it resonated with me, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. So Kyle talks about <clears throat> if you don't know something, love that. And I, yeah, kill it with kindness. It's the same, it, it's a, love your fear, embrace it. Because if you're not embracing it, like, then you're resisting it. Like, bring it in. Like, like, come on, bring it in. Let's bring it in, fear. Bring it in. Like, hug it out. Become buddies with it. Because for me, in my head, if I'm friends with it, I can go out and party with it. And we can have a, an amazing time. Me and fear, we're pals. Like, if, if I can get to that place, if I can become, you know, friends with my fear and know that when my fear shows up, it's just because I don't understand what's going to be in the future or I don't understand what's on the other side of this situation. I don't understand. I, I can't, I don't know the outcome. So I'm afraid because I don't know. It's uncertain. If I am convinced that if I, if God sat down with me right here in five seconds or during this little thing and said, make rights for the rest of your life and you will get everything you ever wanted. There is going to be a time in the future for this person, Jeff Newman, where I'm going to be like, nah, I'm going to take a left. I just, you know, I want to take a left. It looks nice over there and I'm going to screw it up. But there's no screwing it up, you know. The, so, I don't know. Become friends with your fear. Love your fear. That's all I got. Thanks a lot. Feel good. See, like right now, I feel amazing. I'm not afraid. If I think about who's going to judge me, yeah. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Newisms. Like my Facebook page. Like my art. Or don't. I don't care. You know what? Love me or hate me. I, I don't. Right now, I don't give a shit. So, awesome.